The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good morning, folks. Welcome to the May 21st, the terrific Tuesday edition of today's Trader Z Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. Hope everyone out there is having a great day. Let's make sure we have an extraordinary one. Now, the easiest way to do that is to always remember that life is happening for us not to us. That's right. When you and I make that one little two by four shift, it means we can find the gift in every set of circumstance that life is going to toss at us. Now, today, you and I, we're going to go check on the circumstance of these markets. We'll go figure out what those bulls and bears, what those buyers and sellers are communicating to you and I at just past 11 o'clock in the morning. I want you to know I'm absolutely grateful for your presence here. But even more important than that, and that's this. During this next 53 minutes, I'm here to serve you. So feel free to pick up that phone. I'd love to hear from you at 877-927-6648. But if you've got a question and you can't call in, we've got your back. You can send me an email. Send that off to steve at tfnn.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. Of course, if you're inside our Tiger's Den, we'll then any in every ping will do so let's go ahead and get this show started on terrific tuesday of course this is tiger financial news network i'm steve rhodes welcome to the show we start our day with a mixed bag at the dow trading up 31 uh s p's up five nasdaq's down three russell's off three semis are down 19 trend is down 196 a new york stock exchange is down just a point gold is trading off uh buck 80 now trade down to 2436 silver's up four pennies at 3247 lights recruit is off 30 cents 79.50 is the print there natural gas down a penny in the 30-year treasury up seven ticks he's printed out at 117.09 our leader in the clubhouse to the upside is eli Lilly. Up 21 bucks or two and six tenths percent. Powell Industries up 19 bucks, nearly 12 percent. Super Micro 14 bucks, one and a half percent. Lamb Research 14 bucks, one and a half percent. And First Solar. I haven't seen that name pop up on our screen for a while, but that's up nine bucks, nearly a five percent move to the upside. To the downside, the shakers are Micro Strategy 52 bucks. Nordson Corp down 20 bucks. Eagle Materials 20 bucks. Keysight Technology 16. Asmill Holdings off 13. Palo Alto Networks down 10 bucks. Rooney. So we've got movers. And we've got shakers. But where are we going to begin our day out there? Well, let's begin our day. Let's go over to the white background charts. Let's do a audible here. And uh, go take a look at what's really transpired. Today's May 21st. If we take a look at what's really going on, it's uh, expressed well if we take a look at the four-hour time frame chart for the ES Mini. Now, Certainly, it's got had a wave seven top out there. It also has a Rhodes momentum indicator top that formed at two o'clock in the afternoon, and that was uh, yesterday. But what we can see here is it's been a good old fashioned consolidation with inside this profile. So the sideways trading range, we don't know which way it's going to break, uh, and it can go on for an extended period of time. Our trading range has been well established by the four hour uh, TAS market profiles, and that's between at support. The support is really between 53.12 and 53.20. The reason I say between is because that center profile level is much closer to the bottom of the profile in proximity than it is to the top. So it is a bullish structured profile, and that's the so-called buy zone. If price were to close below 53.12, the target to the downside would be 52.16. Uh, as far as where price needs to close above to the top side out there, it's not going to be the 53.43 level, and that's because that dark cloud candle that formed yesterday at 2 o'clock that established that Rhodes momentum indicator top. So in order for price to say I'm getting ready to move higher out there, we need to see it close about 53.48.25. Otherwise, right now, what do we have? A good old-fashioned consolidation. That means really what you do is you try to focus from a trading standpoint on your real short-term intraday charts. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever it is that works for you. But that's what's going on. We 
take a look at the ES Mini. So why don't we go from this smaller picture, at least we've been able to identify for you very clearly, not something that Stevie just made up, but technical tools that help us establish support and resistance. So we know what that trading zone is at, and that's helpful to us. In fact, there's a new trading, well, there's a new profile that's been attempting to form all morning long, and I have no idea whether it's going to take hold or not. Now, the ES Mini on its daily time frame does have that TD9 count top. The profile I'm referring to right now shows resistance at 53.49. 53.49 is the top of that TD9 count top, and support is down at 52.96. So the daily chart says in order for the ES Mini to suggest it wants to break out, it's got to close above the top of that TD9 count pattern. So, and we've got now resistance up at that high, and we have support potentially in the 52.96 level. We won't know if this profile is going to take hold or not until tomorrow well until it's about 601 this evening and then we'll know for sure but it has been shifting throughout the uh, morning out there so we know where buyers and sellers are trying to line up the question is will they line up there by day's end now let's move from that time frame to just simply take like what's really going on inside and i don't recall which one's going to pop up it's going to be the dow so let's do this uh, summation of what's going on in the dow and its instruments so first we start with the dow equity future contract still has a td9 count top it did form a new profile resistance at 4213 and price did close below the center of that uh, profile that center line is different from what we talked about yesterday i believe the center line out there that you write down is 39,988. if the dow equity future contract closes below that today it increases the odds of a move not just to the 39,652 level it's not center and change line but down to the 39,424 level the bottom of its profile the dow jones industrials it still retains its td9 account top its price target is 39,553 the diamonds price target is 39 uh, 39 95.59. It formed a wide profile yesterday. It is bullish in structure and the buy zone out there between 393 and 394. The EDOW, that's the equal weight for the Dow, it has a TD9 count top. It also formed a new profile yesterday and support is between 34 uh, 11 and 34.21. That's what's going on with the Dow charts. Let's move from the Dow charts over to the NQ charts out here. Now, the NQ yesterday negated its TD9 count top. It also negated in the NDX100 the TD9 count top. The Qs, did they? Let me see here. I think they did. 454.69. What was yesterday's close? Yesterday's close was 454.91. So, yeah, the Qs have negated that, as did the E. Uh, QQEW. So in the case of the Qs, what they're trading in is an A to B equals CD pattern on the upside. Since I don't have that tool on my system, I'm not going to show you that. But what I can share with you is price is sitting at just about the 1.618 A to B equals CD price expansion level for the NQ out there. And that's at 18,738. So short of a bearish reversal candle to confirm a sell the D point pattern, the NQ may want to go target 19057. That would be its 1.272 expansion level. Let's go from there over to this set of charts. Here's the S&P 500. So the S&P 500 has got a TD9 count top for the for the cash index, for the equity future contract, for the SPY, as well as the equal weight. Well, you can see here our new profiles attempting to form in the SPY and inside the RSP. The SPY would have supported 525.58, the RSP 167.16 out there. Even my ES Mini chart is not showing that profile that we took a look at. So it keeps coming and going out there, and right now it just went. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We get back to this break. Let's take a look at Duolingo, Goro, EQX, NVIDIA, EEM, ATEN, SEMR, IBRX, and Nike. We'll be right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Many trading newsletters attempt to focus on a narrow set of equities or commodities. While this works for some, it oftentimes misses many opportunities that possess huge gain potential. But how is an independent trader supposed to scan the entire market looking for these hidden opportunities? One simple answer. 
the opening call newsletter. Basil Chapman, developer of the Chapman Wave trading methodology, has been trading the markets for longer than most trading influencers have been alive. And over that time, he has honed his methodology in order to accurately call movements in a wide range of equities, from semiconductors to uranium to key indices and so much more. Basil is old school, taking the time to educate the trader while also giving his insights into key indices, selective stocks, and more. Opening Call subscribers also receive access to dozens of educational live streams that can be accessed at any time for your edification. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So ignore the pop trading influencers and start learning time-tested technical analysis. Steve Rhodes started his trading career as a student almost 20 years ago, and the student has now become the master. Steve won the prestigious Timer of the Year Award in 2018 and barely missed that mark again in 2019, finishing at number two for the year. An amazing accomplishment. Steve Rhodes is committed to sharing his techniques and knowledge with anyone who wants to learn, and he shares his vast amount of trading knowledge every day in his Mastering Probability newsletter. Steve's award-winning newsletter, Mastering Probability, is delivered every trading day with updates throughout the afternoon. Sign up for Steve's market newsletter, Mastering Probability, and you'll receive access to seven of Steve's educational webinars absolutely free. At TFNN, all our newsletters come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Visit TFNN.com and try Mastering Probability 30 days risk-free today. TFNN, education investors. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're going to uh, start off by taking a look at ticker symbol D U O L Duolingo. I, I like this company uh, only because my uh, eight-year-old uh, granddaughter is learning how to speak Japanese on her own with uh, with their tools. So I haven't investigated any further than that. But uh, that's not what really uh, Marvin was asking about. He was looking for a long entry. So in this case here, Marvin, as we take, so I don't have a daily bottom signal out there. What we do have today, though, is Duolingo is attempting to get back inside its profile. Now, in this instance here, this is a strong resistance level, this being 180.66. The reason why I say that's a strong resistance level is because both the center and the bottom of the profile are at that exact same spot. So what I can share with you is closing above 180.66, Yes, it was a bullish hammer candle, but it didn't confirm any kind of a pattern out there. But closing today above 180.66 would at least suggest a move up towards the 191.76, 195.63 level. That's what the daily chart is showing us. The weekly chart shows last week price closed below its bullish structured weekly profile. Now, we saw that same instance back here. When I say back here, I'm referring to February 23rd. And the very next week, price got back inside there. It's trying to do that same thing today. So what you want to watch out there is the bottom of that profile is 181.69. And I would say a price closed above 188.66. Well, then that gets us to that 195.63 level on the daily time frame chart. So I'd have to then say a close above 195.63 would get you up towards that 223 level. Is this a buy entry point? for Marvin. I wish I had a better bottoming pattern. It doesn't mean it hasn't bottomed. It just means it hasn't bottomed with one of Stevie's patterns out there, like the 30-minute chart did when it formed that Rhodes Mintum indicator bottom back at 11 o'clock in the morning on May the 15th. That's really led to just this sideways move out there, but at least it has not continued to move lower. So risk-reward-wise, your stop would need to be, I'd say you'd have that stop below yesterday's low, that bullish hammer candle. 
174.34. Now the average daily price movement on this is 10 bucks, so it's really got to be 10 dollars and 68 cents times 1.618 or 1.272, and that's where you stop. We need to be. So you know, I, I do that calculation. And if that is below yesterday's hammer candle, then okay, you could uh, you know take a, a shot at this. The monthly time frame chart is trading above profile, so no problems there. Um, yeah, it's a, so it, it may have bottom, but if you were asking me, does it have one of Stevie's bottom patterns, the answer there is what I've already given to you, which is no. So Marvin, thanks for waiting an extra day on that, and uh, hope that helps you out. Uh, Marty wanted to take a look at uh, G-O-R-O. -O. I believe that is a, a gold company out there. So let's take a look at Goro, which as we take a look at the daily time frame chart, looks beautiful. What do you mean beautiful, Stevie? I mean, it's trading above profile to green oscillator and change line. Those are bullish conditions. Where's the next level of resistance? That would be at 64 cents, Marty. We look at the weekly time frame chart. The weekly time frame chart is trying to take out profile resistance at 57 cents. So it adds the idea on the daily time frame of 64 cents being the price target. Monthly shows prices traded by the top of its profile as well, which was at 47 cents out there. So I would say Goro wants to go target that 64 cent level out there. If price did drop back below the uh, weekly profile level, again, that's at uh, 57 cents, and that wouldn't be the greatest outcome. Um, and price is running right into a TD9 count breakdown resistance level at 59. But that didn't hold that first time up through there. So, you know, I'm not going to give that. Um, well, we respect it. We must respect it. But I don't know that that's really going to contain price out here. So it does look to me like Goro wants to continue to move higher out there. Today's going to be the third consecutive close to the upside. Maybe you get one more day and then a two-day pullback or something along those lines. So, Marty, I hope that helped you out. And thank you for waiting an extra day. Same thing with Tom L. Tom wanted to take a look at EQX out here. So we take a look at EQX. EQX is uh, trading at about $5.80. So do I see a bottom pattern? I do. I see a, a buy the D point pattern. That buy the D point pattern was confirmed with this bullish hammer candle back on May the 13th. It was reconfirmed a couple days ago with a bullish engulfing candle. Price is trading above the, uh, the top of its profile. Uh, Tom, it is trading above its green asset and change line for the daily time frame. Those are bullish conditions. Its next price target would likely be $6.20. On a weekly time frame, you have a consolidation with inside its weekly profile. Maybe you had to sell the D points. Let me see what we had out here. Uh, let me take this back further. Yeah, it's got the pattern, but I don't think it's really completed the A to B equals CD. I'm just going to go ahead and measure this out. So there's the A to B, and if we move this over to then that next lowest low, which looks like it's right there. No, so it hasn't completed an A to B equals CD pattern. It is just consolidating with inside its profile. So you've got support at 497, resistance up at 650 out there. Uh, we didn't check to see if that A to B equals CD pattern was a confirmed one to the upside. You're trading above resistance levels on the monthly time frame chart. So EQX, you've got... A suggestion that this should move towards 629, but you should know that as price gets to 599, between 599 and 650, you're going to hit a bunch of turbulence. That's turbulence is caused by that bearish structured weekly profile. So, Tom L., thank you for uh, holding off a day on that, and I hope that that helps you out. Uh, GTE wanted to take a look at NVIDIA, and NVIDIA is out with earnings tomorrow evening, I believe. And if we take a look at NVIDIA, let's pull this daily time frame chart back and see what we see out here. What do we see? So we see that NVIDIA, what it's dealing with, I'm going to open up the daily time frame chart, is still dealing with the Rhodes-Mintum indicator top that formed back on March the 8th. Since then, it's been, um, it did make a, so I, you know, I don't know why price stopped where it did on the daily time frame, meaning I don't have any kind of a pattern out there to suggest why it stopped. But if we look at the weekly chart, maybe that'll help us out. So the reason that it stopped where it did, what I'm referring to is the day of April 19th, when price got down to a low of 756.06. What contained it? It contained, it was contained, it was the uh, where the buyers were on the weekly profile, and that was at 754.94. So that's where support held. You've got a consolidation inside the uh, weekly profile right now. Price is trade above its weekly green oscillator and change line. It should go target resistance. That's up at 974. Now, at 974, that might take us to the daily roads momentum indicator top from May, March the 8th out there. And it most certainly does. So that's what price is going to need to close above. 
uh, GTE to uh, get us in full breakout mode. Do we have any kind of an indication here as to what NVIDIA wants to do or how it might respond to earnings? And I'd have to say the monthly chart is still bullish out there. The weekly chart, again, is just consolidating. I don't see anything negative on the daily time frame other than that roads momentum indicator top and the top of the weekly profile. So that's the best I've got for you on NVIDIA. But if we know this, if NVIDIA starts trading up 974, it will start its next leg higher out there. Uh, EEM is also uh, a symbol that uh, GTE wanted to take a look at. We're about ready to go to a breakout here in about six seconds. So what we'll do is we'll come back and take a look at the emerging markets ETF out here. But on a monthly time frame, what we can see is prices trade above resistance. That resistance level being the top of its profile. That's at 42.79. So the monthly chart is saying, I would like to move higher. We'll be right back. report as a precious metal gold is still king it continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the london otc market the u.s futures market and the shanghai gold exchange the gold report tom o'brien publishes his weekly gold report every monday morning for subscribers consisting of coverage of the xau hui gdx the dollar bonds the south african rand as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Tigers, you've seen his show, you've learned from his webinars, and now it's time to trade side by side with him. Join Larry Pesavento for the second month of his new service, Live Trading Fridays. Hosted in the Tigers Den Trading Room on Discord, Larry has analyzed a number of commodities and indices, placed profitable trades, and explained his method. Whether you're new to trading or are a seasoned market veteran, trading side by side with a titan like Larry Pesavento will only enhance your game. Utilizing Fibonacci retracements and ABCD structures, Larry provides decades of insight into when to place trades, when to exit, when to ignore, and so much more. Learning is doing. So if you're serious about learning technical analysis and becoming profitable in this uncertain market, Live Trading Fridays is a must-have tool in your arsenal. Live Trading Fridays occur every second and fourth Friday of the month, so trading events for this month are May 10th and 24th. If you're serious about trading, we'll see you there. TFNN, educating investors. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk, so why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. This portion of the Trader's Edge is brought to you by Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the direction. Visit Direction.com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC.
Welcome back, folks. So interesting stock patterns out here in the emerging market ETF, EEM, out there. And what I mean by that, I'm just going to open up the weekly time frame chart. And we take a look at potential A to B equals CD patterns out here. Oops. We can start with the TD9 count bottom that formed out here back on October the 28th. We're looking at the week, the week that ended, I'm sorry, October the 28th. That would be our A point. The B point, the next highest high that takes place after that, is clearly out here on January 27th. And then the lowest low, which would be the C point, is down here on the trade day of October 27th. That would give a one-to-one -one price projection of 45, 42. Now, when the B point was taken out, what I'm referring to is back here on January 27th, the volume there was 169 million shares. Last week, that B point was taken out with lighter volume. It was taken out with 134,000 shares. So it's not like we have a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the upside inside of the EEM. However, there's other, there's, there's a couple other weekly. And the reason I'm doing the weekly is because if I go to the daily, there's so much noise and so much stair stepping out there that it'll just we could we could spend all day trying to come up with A to B equals CD patterns out here. So the next one that could form or that we could draw in there is the one where the A point would be down here for the week of October 27th. The B point would be up here December 29th. The volume there was 131 million shares. When that was passed, it was passed with. 132, 155, was that above that? Yeah, no, not really, 174. So there you have a confirmed A to B equals CD pattern to the upside. So that would be one. Um, that, I'll draw that in here, just so we could take a look at that. I believe that has already completed at least, right? So it's, a, it's done at least that pattern out there. Give me a second and we'll move this over. And you then got that bearish reversal candle and a TD9 count top. So I'd say that that A to B equals CD pattern is over with. But there's another one that may have formed. Let's take a look at this out here. So here's the A. Whoops, can't do that, I guess. So the B point here would be the week of April the 12th. And the volume there was 153 million shares. And that was passed with 178. So that A to B equals CD pattern would look like this out here inside of EEM. And this one has not completed. I don't believe it has, visually speaking. So let's move this over there. They, oh, it's very close to uh, competing, completing out there. So I come up with about 43.96 or thereabouts. Now, we can see that price is along the left-hand side of that C to D leg. That tells you more likely than not this will do more than a one-to-one. -one. Again, we're looking at the weekly time frame. And if it did get a bearish reversal, but if you did get a bearish reversal candle, that would be a sell the D point pattern. Now, the monthly chart is suggesting that price want to make, might want to make a move to 46.78. So that's on the bullish side out there. On the daily time frame, I'm going to open up this chart up here, and then you can see all those potential different A to B equals CD patterns out here. But on the daily time frame, if today closes below the bottom of its profile, and that's at 43.36. We're at 43.35 right now. And, and what we'll do is let's do this GTE. If price were to close below the oscillator and change line, that's at 43.27. Then that would tell us on the daily time frame that you have a profile change in trend in your trading. You've lost momentum and you're trading below support. Now, where is it that price would pull back to? The price target on my screen out here would be 39.76. But I'm not saying that's where price would head to. Instead, if we get that profile change in trend, a close below 43.27, then we've got to come back and take a look at the weekly time frame, try to figure out where support might be, which right now is 41.95. So even though things look beautiful, when we take a look at the monthly and the weekly time frame chart there, the daily right now says caution Will Robinson. And if you get a close below 43.36, that caution is going to say, I very, or really 43.27, I'm very likely to head lower. So I hope that helps you out with regard to that overview of the emerging markets. Dude inside the Tiger's Den wants to take a look at ticker symbol ATEN. ATEN is trading right now at about $15.15. .15. It has a gigantic gap to the downside. It has a new profile that has formed, and price is trading below the bottom of that profile. 1536. So, dude, the very first thing is watch today's close. If it's below 1536, this is telling us it wants lower price. And this is A10 Networks out there. Did today's action confirm a sell the D point pattern? Well, it may have. So let's, oops, I mean to do that. I meant to do this, and then I meant to do this, which is let's draw in that A to B equals CD pattern. So for that, we've got to go up to here, and then we're going to take this, and we're going to take that to that TD9 count bottom out there. 
and then see if we've achieved. Yeah, well, we're very close to getting that one-to-one level. I mean, we're within, you know, looks like about 50 cents or so. So I'm going to say at this stage here, take the liberty and say what this generated in the daily time frame, dude, was a sell the D point pattern. And prices below the bottom of that profile, that could take you all the way back to 1294. But let's go see if there's some other support on the weekly time frame. 1429 would be the support level. So here... Here you've got probably, a, which might have been the similar A to B equals C to pattern. I can't be certain. So we're just simply going to draw that in because maybe it's a different one. But let's find out. And there you go. Close enough. So now you've got a, so now what you've got on A10 networks, dude, is a daily and a weekly uh, sell the D point pattern. So this is, a, so. Back to if price closed below 1536, the bottom of Staley profile, I would say the price target becomes 1429 or thereabouts. That's that green oscillator and change line. Those numbers are going to change as price moves up and down out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at A10 Networks, dude. You also want to take a look at ticker symbol SEMR. So let's get over to that set of charts out here and let's see what SEMR is. It is. Uh, Sem Rush Holdings. So Sem Rush Holdings on a daily time frame looks muy bueno. Why? Uh, it has taken out, uh, yesterday it took out a Rogeman Dim Indicator top uh, pattern out there by closing above the high from May the 15th. So that's a suggestion that it wants to move higher. Move higher to where? Well, the weekly chart looks bullish. The monthly chart looks bullish. So this thing really does want to run. In other words, what I'm saying is price is trading above all resistance levels. So where's the next resistance area? Let me see if there is one on the daily time frame. There is not. You're trading at all time highs. Now there is the A to B equals CD pattern. Let's go kind of shift over to the weekly chart. It might be easier to draw that pattern in here. Had. So, yeah, we can draw that in. So I can give you an approximate price projection of this A to B equals C. Now, I'm going to use the low from November 3rd. I'm going to use that TD9 count top out here from December 29th. I'm just not going to copy and paste. I'm just going to move this over. Well, I'm going to try to move this over. I might have to copy and paste. There we go. So here's your A to B equals CD pattern. Well, you've already basically hit that. So that doesn't mean the pattern is completed. All it says is whether I look at the daily or the weekly, it's going to have that same A to B equals CD pattern. If you were to see a bearish reversal candle, dude, that would then trigger a sell the D point pattern. And that would tell you that price wants to move back to support. And support here would be around 50, I'd say it's around 1526 on the daily time frame. And that's what I would just simply go with. So right now, all systems are go. Continue to move higher. But watch for a bearish reversal cam. If you get one of those, that's going to tell you it's time for a timeout. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you spend any time online researching trading techniques on how to begin your trading journey, you've no doubt come across many folks who push Forex trading as a way to make big money quickly. Unfortunately, there are equally as many stories of these so-called Forex professionals just looking to make a quick buck off aspiring traders without actually teaching the ins and outs of the Forex market. This is what sets Teddy Kekstack's The Tiger Forex Report off the riffraff. Every Monday, former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member and author Teddy Kekstad releases his Tiger Forex Report newsletter, where he dives into the complex world of Forex and takes time to actually teach you his methods that have made him so successful in the fast-paced and rewarding world of Forex trading. Furthermore, all subscribers receive access to archived live streams of Teddy's, where he provides university-level education to help you in Forex trading. All first-time subscribers receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what are you waiting for? Forex awaits. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, 
Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. For traders who crave risk, Direction's daily leveraged and inverse ETFs provide opportunities to magnify short-term perspectives with up to three times a daily leverage, utilize bull and bear funds from both sides of the trade, and trade through rapidly changing markets. These are highly leveraged ETFs with daily resetting designed for short-term trading, not long-term investing. Whether you're a bull or a bear, you choose the Direction. For up-to-date pricing and performance, go to Direction. Dot com. Investing in the funds involves significant risk and should only be utilized by investors who understand the impact of leverage and actively monitor their portfolio. They are not designed to track the underlying index or security for more than a day. Before investing, carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risk, charges, and expenses contained in the prospectus available at Direction.com. Read carefully. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. Welcome back, folks. Say correction time. I think I may have said that uh, SEMrush Holdings was at new all-time highs out there. I really didn't uh, pull the uh, monthly chart back far enough, but I do have that on our screen right now. We can see that is definitely not the case. It's all-time high, be it 32.48. What price has done from a retracement standpoint is made its way towards that 0.382 retracement level of 16.83 out there. It doesn't change the outlook at this stage here, which is everything is still pointing to the upside, but it does, again, says watch for a daily bear reversal candle that would suggest a, a pullback of some sort out there let's move on to our next request ibrx actually let's just type that in here but we'll go switch over to the white background charts momentarily we take a look at ibrx we can see that price is trading into its breakout level and this candle broke out with some big volume back in the trading day of uh, april the 29th the volume of the upside was 66 million shares out there that gap was more than filled and price is now back inside its profile this is one of those profiles folks where the center and the bottom are at the exact same level so we're trading inside the profile uh, that means back inside the 709 level we're at 663 out there and that would suggest that uh, price here uh, bob and spokane could uh, pull back to the 536 level if we look at the weekly time frame chart again not looking for any other signals at this stage here we'll go to the white background charts and take a look at those but on a weekly basis if you get a weekly close below 697 this is a new weekly profile that formed this week that would tell you've got a weekly profile change in trend and that would suggest lower price now its lower price level would be at 337 you'll see that when i flip over to the other charts the monthly chart out here i don't see anything wrong with it but it looks to me like price right now is being directed by both the daily and the weekly time frame so let's take a look at what immune bio is doing when we go over to those white background charts so give me a moment here we'll go over to those charts so did this form some kind of top on the uh, daily or the weekly time frame. Well, let's look at the weekly first. Was there an A to B equals CD pattern to the upside? There most certainly was. Uh, and it was more than a one-to-one -one level. If you can't visually see that, then let me show that to you. Um, I'm just looking for the low slow. Looks like it might be right about there. There's your TD9 count top. We just move this over to the next lowest low after that high was formed. And you can see this made more than a one-to-one, -one, A to B equals CD pattern. And then you get that bearish engulfing candle back on May the uh, 10th. So here's where that 337 level comes into play. And I do mean it is really in play out there. But first, you'd have to go back and take a look at the daily chart to identify where its next level of support is at. So we have a bear sash candle that formed out here back on April 30th. So we know we had an A to B equals CD pattern in the weekly. Well, we certainly had that on the daily, too. So you've got two sell the D point patterns. And that suggests that IBRX should go ahead towards that 536 level. I have to say towards it. 
not to it, because that oscillator and change line is still green. So the price oscillator remains above zero. It's a bullish condition, but we have a falling price oscillator above zero. So that's why that 536 or 337 level becomes a likely target. So, Bob, thanks for waiting on that. I hope that that helps you out. Let's go take a look at Holy Nike. Nike's out there. NKE is the ticker symbol. This is for Dan inside the Tiger's Den. And, Dan, we just got a good old-fashioned consolidation, quite frankly, with inside its weekly profile, meaning that your buy zone or support is really between 90.50 and 92.27. We've seen that for the past four weeks out there. Those areas have been tested, just like the oscillator and change on the weekly uh, basis is your resistance area. I mean, it is clear as can be where support is. It is clear as can, for my eyes, as clear as can be for where resistance is at just by watching price activity as price on that weekly chart rallies up in that oscillator and change line. By week's end, it gets a slap back down. The daily time frame suggests a consolidation between 91.37 and 95.68 um, out there. And on the monthly time frame, price is below profile support this would be the third month for below that area and price is trading inside the swing point that generated that monthly td9 count that's from the month of october of 2022 now volume on that month was 200 million shares when we uh, first tested that we tested it with 228 million shares said we'd be back down which is what we did last week 200 million shares so 200 going into two that's pretty good you know what the monthly chart is saying dan is over time Price should go tag and touch that low out there. That low being 82.22. And I would say that will remain to be the case unless you see a weekly close above that oscillator and change line, which right now is about where the center of that profile is at about 92.24. It's actually 92.32 out there. So that's what I see when I take a look at that ticker symbol, NKE. Your question is, will this move higher out there? You close above that red oscillator and change on the weekly time frame. My answer to that question would be absolutely yes out there. Now, you'd also have resistance at 96.66. So it's got battles up top out there. So hope that helps you out. Uh, looking out to the June earnings for a test of shorter term, uh, thinking in a bounce. Watch that red oscillator and change on that weekly time frame. I think that would be a good guide for you as to what its intent is at. Now, nobody asked. I had mentioned first uh, solar FSLR was trading to the upside. It was on our screen of charts that were breaking out up here. So let's just go see what it's doing. Now, what first solar is going to complete at week's end is a TD9 count top out here. Let me just open up its... Uh, chart a little bit further see if this has any respect for the td9 counts out here so because to the downside it didn't this formed a td9 count the week of october 6 out there and that was not the low of uh, of this move lower out there i went ahead and went ahead and completed a buy the d point pattern and it did that back in november 17th but uh, so it did respect that td9 count but it did have respect for that td9 count back here on uh, september 23rd that was at a high so it doesn't like td9 counts to the bottom look at this one back here that formed on january 28th that didn't hold out there but here's a td9 count to the top that did so it respects the TD9 counts at the highs. That was back on January 29th out there. It doesn't like the ones that formed to the lows. Now that's important information, I think, for all of us. So this is going to go ahead and complete the TD9 count top this week out there as it gets towards TD9 count breakdown resistance to 13.43. If that top is of any significance, we should see some type of top on the daily time frame. Now, at this point in time, we don't have that. So I would uh, I would be watching the daily time frame chart if you're inside of First Solar. Right now, there's a Rhodes Mentum indicator signal that is present. The last one that formed out there did lead, that was uh, back on uh, May the 10th out there, that did lead to move lower. It was a test of support, which was the top of its profile, and then it has since moved higher. So I'd be watching the daily because that weekly TD9 count, if you see some kind of a uh, top out there, and you're only in bar number four, so the only patterns could be a bearish reversal candle to confirm either a sell the D point pattern or a Rhodes Mentum indicator signal out there. The monthly chart looks very good. Uh, but it does have a TD9 count top as well. The reason it looks good is because price is trading above the top of its slightly bearish structured profile, 197.10. But I would say odds favor. So don't start a new position in First Solar because odds favor you're going to see some kind of a pullback out there simply because of the respect that its chart seems to have 
for those weekly TD nine count patterns out there. So we've gotten through all of the requests, I believe, so far. If I overlooked anything inside the uh, den or something, if you'd retype that, that would be great. And we'll close out the show. I'm not sure with what. I'll see first if there's any requests by email. The answer there is no, there's not. So uh, Stevie will come up with something unless I get some assistance from someone inside the Tiger Stand. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. In the world of trading, only a few names stand out like Larry Pesavento, a pro's pro with over 50 years of experience. Larry has seen it all. A former Chicago Mercantile Exchange member, Larry has authored 10 books and trained over 1,000 traders with his unmatched expertise. Introducing Fibonacci 24-7, Larry Pesavento's daily trading service that turns the complexity of markets into opportunities. Published every Sunday, receive a comprehensive report packed with detailed commentary, charts, and videos that illuminate the patterns shaping the markets with updates throughout the week exclusively for subscribers. Whether through charts or videos, Larry's analysis is your roadmap to navigating the markets. You can sign up now at TFNN.com for just $97. And with all TFNN newsletters backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee, you have nothing to risk. For all the details, visit TFNN.com. You'll find Fibonacci 24-7 right under the Newsletters tab. Are you ready to take charge of your financial future? TFNN is your gateway to the world of trading and investing. Whether you're starting out or scaling up, TFNN empowers traders and investors of all skill levels with top-notch investing systems, strategies, and techniques. It's time to protect and grow your money with insight you can trust. Join us live Monday through Friday during market hours for exclusive content that moves with the markets. At TFNN, we bring the trading floor to you. Our seasoned hosts are here to answer your calls and questions live on the air. Check out the Tiger's Den for just $1 and follow us on YouTube and become part of our vibrant community. And remember, at TFNN, we're so confident in the value we provide that we offer a 30-day money-back guarantee on all new premium newsletter subscriptions and services. You have absolutely nothing to risk. So why wait? Tune in live to Tiger TV and transform your trading journey. Because when you know better, you invest better. Join us and experience the difference today. TFNN, educating investors. Welcome back, folks. Let's go out to beautiful Fort Collins, Colorado and speak with Mark. Mark, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you today? Good. How are you doing today? Excellent. Thanks much for asking. So COPX, which is the uh, Copper Miners ETF out there, is what you're calling about. Uh, tell me how I can best help you. So I talked to Tom about this the other day. It looks like on a monthly we've got a confirmed ABC up to about 64. So I'm looking for an entry point. wondered if you could uh, see if ah, there's okay. any, anything on your charts. Sure, sure, absolutely. So uh, what uh, today could do, it depends on the candle's close, but today could generate a Rhodes Mintum indicator top. You've got a bear sash candle. And so if that gets confirmed, Mark, um, that's going to suggest at least one retracement. Now, this might just be a very shallow retracement, which would be back to its green oscillator and change line. It was at $50.84 out there. If price were to close below that level, then we'd be looking at a move back towards the top of its profile, 47.26 is that number. 
or 4634, which would be the breakout level from the TD9 count pattern that, by the way, failed yesterday. Um, but you still have that Rosemont indicator top signal. Now, what I'm going to do, any questions about that daily chart or, what, or any of the levels or anything that I gave you there? Nope, that looks good. Thanks. Okay, so now let's go to the short-term time frame charts and see what's going on here. So on a 30-minute time frame chart, I show what looks like a wave number seven top. Price right now is trading below its profile. It looks to me like what price should do is go target 51.32. And if price is going to close below 51.32, that's going to tell you that you're going to get the lower price. Now, the 30-minute chart would say after 51.32, you'd be looking at $50. I just want to go back to look at that. And that $50 would basically take you back to that daily um, oscillator and change line. Right now, it reads 50.83, but if price keeps moving lower, that's going to move lower as well out there. So I'd be watching for... Patterns on an intraday chart, like a 30-minute chart, especially if today confirms that uh, bear sash candle. And the reason you'd be looking at that shorter-term time frame chart is you want to see if there's some type of bottom as price would get back towards that $50 level. Mark, I apologize that we're out of time here. I hope that helped you out. But if not, would you call back uh, tomorrow, and I'll be happy to go through any of these charts for you as well. But thank you very okay, much for your call. You. You bet. Have a great day. And that was Mark and Ford Collins. Folks, you have a great day as well. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for all the programming. Be safe out there. Have a terrific Tuesday. We'll see you tomorrow.